If everyday low prices and quality products matter to you, then come to Consulates on Bush Road, number 72, St. Martin. At Consulates, you can buy the highest quality food and household products, frozen foods, dairy products, snacks, laundry and cleaning products, housewares, and just about every other thing under the sun. Our customer service is just simply the best. St. Kitts Nevis shoppers, visit www.costyouless.com or visit our store on St. Martin and we'll help you ship your items. Cost you less, your best value warehouse store. I'm Andre Huey of SKNNewsline.com and I'm here in the community of Old Road St. Kitts as they prepare for Hurricane Irma. Old Road is one of the most vulnerable communities in St. Kitts to natural disasters, especially hurricanes and sea surges. Reason? A lot of the communities are built on the coastline, the western coastline of St. Kitts. Uh, houses are right by the seaside and whenever there are sea surges, there's a lot of flooding. We're here to speak with some of the residents here, especially those living along the coastline, to find out if they have an alternative to staying here during Hurricane Irma, whether they'll be going up shore or whether they'll stay here and what they'll do if they do remain. We're here in Old Road, St. Kitts, SK Newsline special coverage of Hurricane Irma. All right, so I'm here with Mr. Llewellyn Williams. He's a resident in the community here. Uh, popular known as Deuce. Yes. And um, how are things coming? How are you preparing for the storm? Well, everyone seems like they're set for it. Everyone is preparing, and we're looking forward for a hurricane, but we hope that it will turn a different direction with the speedy hand. Right. We can't take it at the same And especially for all road and people living in this, in this area. Yes. Um, a lot of flooding tends to happen because of the sea surge. Uh, it is expected that there's going to be a, a high um, wind coming in and a lot of water coming in. Right. How are people here coping? Because I know some people are evacuated. Yes, yeah, some, yeah, some started already. Yes, some started to evacuate already. Yes, definitely. What about you? Well, I live in on the project, community housing project, but I start setting up, trying the roof and everything. Right. Make sure everything is okay. Okay. Well, I can't stop. The work of the land. Yeah, well, exactly. exactly. It's Mother Nature. You have to yes. work with it. Yes. One thing I noticed when I came down here it was very busy. And all it is not normally this busy unless there's a cruise ship in town. Well, it's busy because everybody looking at food stuff, getting flashlights, candles, preparing. Yeah. Fully right. prepared. Well, stay safe. Yes. And we hope all the all best. Yes. Thank you very nice much. Nice meeting you. Nice talking to you. We then spoke to a lady by the name of Sandra Richardson, who happens to live just next to the main gut in the area where the Old Road River flows into the sea. Right behind her home is the sea. She's in the process of evacuating from her home and saving whatever items she can save, anticipating that her house will be flooded. Plan to evacuate them for the time being? Yeah, I'm staying here. Mm. When do you manage to get the move so far? What? When do you uh, manage to get the move so far? Well, some beds. I make sure I look some beds, some dishes and stuff to eat out and some stuff. But yes, pictures and other fridge and things in this place. We didn't normally get bad weather like hurricane or storm. Here normally gets flooded, right? Yeah. Talk to us about that. How, how bad is it? Okay. Well, the last time the water went to the front of the house. It came from all the way from down From here. Yeah. And the two the across the river and the sea, everything flat now, right behind here. We're going to visit another resident in the area and we just got reports that the last hurricane came. This building here, the, the storm surges were so high that the water came over the building and landed over. So obviously if that happened with the last storm, major storm, and this one is more powerful, you could just imagine what could happen here when Irma strikes. We then spoke to another resident of the community whose father was recently moved further up from the house he was living in, which is close to the shoreline. He explains what tends to happen when the hurricane comes and how much they're bracing for Hurricane Irma. So, how do you find that people are taking this storm this time around? Well, normally you talk to all the people. Well, honestly, a lot of people on the sea coast right now is taking it more seriously because the last one, people in the only take it that seriously. Anyway. Most of who were living on the coastal side, this could get damaged. Mm. So everybody's taking precaution right now. So who, some of them are going to like family? Family home, mm. who live more on the project. Right, who, who um, live on the project, right. Let's take for instance, and there's some houses back over there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some of the same ladies that we just passed from the money yeah. they, they have um, some houses up on the project. Okay, so there's more so about there. Um, and nobody really goes to the shelter every time. Well, unless, I, unless I, won't, I won't, I won't, I won't have anybody going to the shelter because 
I mean, when you come to Oro, family are always there for family, friends are always there for friends. Mm -hmm. So the shelter can normally be the last. Last option. Option for anybody. As we leave Old Road, we spoke to an elderly resident in the area who said he will not be evacuating and that he's putting his trust in God to protect him. God and in that man. I am putting my trust in God and that man concerning this hurricane. You're going to be in this location or are you, or are you going to be moving? I'll be here, man. So we're along the Old Road, Bay Road. This road in particular is known for rock falls during hurricanes and during heavy rains. So we're waiting, we're waiting to see what will happen. We just hope for the best for the people of Old Road and the entire St. Kitts and Nevis as we prepare for Hurricane Irma. Reporting for SKN Newsline from Old Road in St. Kitts, I'm Andre Huey for SKNNewsline.com.